Miss Mary Duke and Twenty Five. Well, when a fully married young girl is just going to start having sex, that's what you do when the man suggests it to you. So you, yeah, okay, do it. Um, it was more of a kind of just a sort of impressing thing rather than like a desire, if you know what I mean. Um, and when I was around sort of like 18, I'd come out of um, like a short relationship, but it was, from, it was more kind of a friendship than a relationship, you know, kind of, um, we had sex, but it wasn't, I didn't ever, you know? I understand, <laughs> I understand. Yeah, yeah. And um, I suppose it was about a year after that, a year of just being on my own and just kind of never really, having that desire for someone I really like my friends would do you know what I mean and the way they talk about it when I'm with them and I'm just like oh okay I was just always more interested in me and my friends and the people and I, I'm attracted to men but more if for their mind do you know what I mean yeah and I didn't just you know it's not like I just want one man's mind, I want a lot of men's minds, <laughs> and females as well, you know. I, don't, I think, I'm not sure, I think I was, I didn't really know what I felt, to be honest. There's so much thrown at you from society and what, you know, even girls and boys, what a girl should be like, what a boy should be like, what you want, what you should want, you know, marriage, babies, love. And then you come to me for sex, you know. And and so, you know, I did, you know, I did become a teenager and then start to think about these things, obviously. Yeah, it was just all around you, wherever you were. Look, sex, look at this, it's sex. Look at me, you know, everyone changes, everyone starts talking about the dildos they found in their mum's bedrooms and stuff, you know. And, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, of course, yeah. And I, you know, I've got brothers and sisters younger than that. They've all been, like, uh, you know, motherly kind of figure. So, yeah, I've always wanted a child. Yeah, so I decided to adopt one. I wanted a child, but I didn't want to have to, you know, have sex to have one. And I, not just I wanted the child, like for selfish reasons. There's just so many children out there who need a home, you know. And I thought I was a perfectly good home. Well, you know, I think there's a lot of women who just never have sex ever again after having children. And there's a lot of married couples who never have sex and I don't think, you know, um, children question their parents' sexuality too much. It's probably the last thing they really want to talk about. But we live in a different kind of generation now. Do you know what I mean? I don't think it's going to be a massive issue for him. And my mum doesn't like that probably going to be a good thing <laughs> if anything you know what I mean and you know uh, we've got lots of different sorts of books talking about um, different families what they're like and you know different kinds of people you know I know people who are with like two women you know or just one woman you know or they're lesbians or they're gay you know not having sex is probably you know easier thing to deal with than it would be to hear, you know, oh, I'm with a guy, it's a girl, it's, it's something else that you could probably get bullied for in school. But I can't imagine someone getting bullied for the fact that their mum doesn't like to have sex. So I don't think it would be a big problem, really. And I don't think that we really, I think, you know, it'd be a normal thing, you know.
just like for me being you know having separated parents was a very normal thing and now you know having a child without a father and on my own for me that's normal you know and for other people it's completely alien you know because they've had a mum and a dad and it's always been that way for me it's always been different so for me it's like okay and you know living in a big city you know you get the majority of people I know didn't even have a dad so you know, we live in a new era now I think especially kids growing up now when they're older you know with all the acceptance now that's going on with gay people transgender and everything I think you know asexual isn't going to be a problem 